Well, she's not the most conventional overland rig, but she made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. So we jumped in the trail boss and let the forest guide us to Death Valley for a spur of the moment camping trip. What's going on you guys? Today we're in Death Valley National Park. So starting it off, we're at the Mesquite Flat sand dunes and the kids are loving it. It's kind of crazy. It's like sand dunes and then there's mountains in the background, but we're in the desert and it feels like 60 degrees. It's January. It's actually really nice. But yeah, the kids are loving playing in the sand and uh, we're just gonna hit this one point of interest and then find somewhere to camp for tonight. We didn't want to spend too much time looking for a camp spot tonight. Um, everyone was getting hungry. So this looked like a good area. This road was, was pretty easy. There's only one time I had to put it in four low. I didn't even air down. Let's go ahead and make some dinner. Good morning. Good morning. What do we got for breakfast this morning, Mama? Uh, oatmeal and breakfast burritos. Oatmeal and breakfast burritos. <laughs> Yay! Breakfast and burritos. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently there was several episodes of Star Wars that was filmed here in Death Valley. And today we're going to do the points of interest that the Star Wars movies were filmed. So we're gonna go to the visitor center, pick up a brochure. There's an app with the audio tour and we're gonna use that to guide us through the park for all the Star Wars locations. We're gonna take you guys with us. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> okay, so I recommend if you guys wanna do this trip to stop off at the Furnace Creek Visitor Center, you can pick up this paper of the Star Wars filming locations or download the NPS app that has the Star Wars location. It's a voice guided tour. Uh, we don't have LTE here in the park. We're trying to download it right now, but I think I don't have the patience to wait around for this slow download. So I'm just gonna use the paper that they gave me here at the visitor center. It's all of the filming locations from episode four and episode six from Star Wars. The dunes that we went to yesterday, Mesquite Flats Sand Dunes is on that list. That's where R2-D2 and C-3PO landed in their escape pods after fleeing Darth Vader. So it says to visit all six locations. It takes five to seven hours. We should be able to do this in one day, no problem. And then find ourselves another sweet camping spot tonight. Let's go. We are at our first point of interest. It is 20 Mule Team Canyon. It's pretty much just a dirt road but this is episode six where R2-D2 and C-3PO are heading to Jabba's palace to free Han Solo out of his cryogenic frozen condition. So we're gonna cruise along this road and I'll show you guys what some of the sights look like. Oh, this is awesome. Let's go. Get a good picture? Right. I, I, I can't see it. Print it. Let's check it out. We have now arrived at our second point of interest. This is Dante's view. It is a beautiful vista overlooking Death Valley. This is the scene of Star Wars where Obi-Wan Kenobi and a young Luke Skywalker sit upon the overlook, looking down on Mos Eisley before they head into town. These are not the droids you're looking for. Look, you see down there? Look over there. That's a town called Mos Eisley. You gotta watch out, there's a lot of shady characters there. You got sand people, nerf herders, stormtroopers, all kinds of scallywags we gotta look out for. Nerf herders? 
Yes, even Nerf herders. That's most Isley. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, we have Artist Palette. There are two scenes from episode four here where the Jawas find their Sandwalker, and then one scene where R2-D2 is going solo through the desert. That was filmed right here behind me. The mountains are all different colors, hence the name Artist Palette is really photogenic. We're gonna definitely stop here and take some pictures. Let's check it out. Our next stop is Desolation Canyon. Our crew has tuckered out. So I think I'm gonna do this one solo on the one wheel and just do some scouting. This is the scene from episode four where the Tuscan Raiders are riding their Banthas through the desert. Let's check out Desolation Canyon. I can definitely picture some Tuscan Raiders riding their Banthas through here. <laughs> Star Wars! It has holes. It has a lot of holes, huh? It's lava holes. This is our last destination. We made it to the Golden Canyon. We did all of the destinations on the Star Wars scene trip here at Death Valley. Here? Yeah, Star Wars was filmed here. That's so cool, huh? The Golden Canyon hike, this particular hike is where the Jawas were peering over a rock at R2-D2. And as you can see, there's a ton of rocks around here, all this lava, red and different color rocks. It is so cool. And it's a slot canyon hike. It's one of my favorite type of hikes. So it's about two miles, 45 minutes left of sunlight. Can we do it, you guys? We're gonna be able to finish this in 45 minutes. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We hit an OHV trail, pretty much the closest one to us. Um, that's the cool thing about this national park is you can actually do dispersed camping here as long as you're one mile off of a paved road. So we're gonna find a camping spot, set up camp and kind of unwind a little bit. It was an epic day. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars! Star Wars! Star Wars. <laughs> well, let's find a camping spot. What's your dinosaur's name? Serati. Serati? What is that short for? Is that karate? But he's a dinosaur and he's named Serati? Oh, cool. 